y'all thought the Illuminati was influential. Do you know who, who these men are? What this council has done to all of you? Especially those who read the Bible. Comment below who you think these men are. I'm curious to what you think. I'm about to tell you in three, two, one. This right here is the Council of Carthage. These are the men who decided what books will go into the Bible and what books will not. You had Cyprian, he was one of the great leaders of the council. You had Augustine of Hippo. You had Donatus. I am butchering that one. I'm not going to go into the specifics about these, these leaders. Definitely weren't perfect. I wouldn't call them evil, but this is important stuff right here. See, these men were extremely biased, right? When they created the Bible you have now. And they wanted to hide a lot of things. The reason why these councils were put together is when people debated about God, Jesus, what happened. See, these men were deciding what should go in the book. But remember, they weren't prophets. They were never ordained as somebody who would have authority over what you should read from what you think is the word of God. No, they put themselves together. And through their biases and their wanting of power, they created a Bible that you read today and determine what you read in that Bible. But guess what, family? The deepest of books were left out. If the books were too deep, if it helped the people who they were oppressing at the time, if it went against, you know, what they thought about men and women, they took the books out. If it talks to you about the inner spirituality, they took it out. There will be a list of all the books they took out, or most of them. I can't put them all. There's so many down in the description of the video. But I brought this up because when I break down Genesis, when I break down what's canon and for me, these people play no part in that. They have no authority over what I consider divine. They have authority over you because you allow it. See, many people want to know what I consider true in the Bible. And you have to remember, I don't have a religion. I walk with all religions. And no one has authority over my relationship with God like many of you have that. I don't have that. I'm free of that. So what you have to understand is, one, the Bible is not a book made to be interpreted literally. It is a book of allegory and metaphor, and it is meant for you to think about it. Whoever interprets it literally will not understand the text. You got to understand that, number one. You have to understand that. But the second thing you must understand is that I do not consider everything in the Bible canon. I do not consider everything in the Bible a book that should be included in that. Remember, the Bible was just put together by these men. They have no authority over me and my brain and my relationship with the divine. When I read a text based on what I and the creator have in a relationship, it's based on what I consider to be the word. Period. So actually a lot of books, and I'll give you this before we go. If the stories contradict and go against Genesis and Revelation. This is the rule for most stories. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this. Not, no one else is going to give you this information right here. In any story, right, whether you're trying to figure out what's canon in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're trying to figure out what's canon in DC, right, in comics or in movies, always ask yourself this question. Is it in line with the original creator of the rest of these stories? The very first book, and this is agreed upon, period, for anybody who believes in the traditional Abrahamic um, 
um, scriptures. Because this is not the only place where you'll find the word of God. You can find the word of God in any culture, by the way. But it's Genesis. If it does not agree with Genesis, it is not canon. Family? Family? So, um, more importantly, this is broken down as far as the story of Genesis and how it relates to us, because it's very true, and how every story that is divine manifests on every level. This is broken down in the book called Fam, Food, Forest, Forging, Hunting, Anti-Fragile Modern Society. It frees us from this matrix that a lot of y'all are stuck in. And this is going to change your perspective on everything. You can get the book right here. You can get the free version, the audio, the audio version, and link at the top of the page. I love you all. Peace.